cool thing about it is that it's pretty interactive. Like if you're just standing there taking photos and following the person on Instagram, you'll probably get a dancing woman coming and starting gyrating on your leg. Hey, it's Robert Morris, entertainment editor at the Virginian Pilot, and with Pulse, and I'm back here with five more reasons to get you out of the house, to have some fun, unless you like being in the house, which is fine with me. But if you do want to get out, here's five reasons to go and do something. Uh, the first thing is John Mayer, the uh, bluesy rock guitarist and uh, Lothario, I guess, for lack of a better word, is going to be at uh, Farm Bureau Live Saturday night in Virginia Beach. Now, of course, John Mayer is known for his songs like Your Body is a Wonderland. He's also known for what he says from his mouth, like discussing his entire sexual relationship with Jessica Simpson in a Playboy interview, which was classic and hilarious and kind of sensational. But uh, he'll be playing. The real intrigue here isn't so much what he's done in the past, but what he's going to do in the future. You know, he, last year he had vocal surgery to repair some things so he could sing again. This is his first major tour since he's done that, so there's a lot of questions on how he's going to sound, if he can be as clear as he used to be. Get your glitter ready because Kesha is going to be at the Intellos Wireless Pavilion at 8 p.m. Wednesday in Portsmouth. Um, if you don't know Kesha, she's kind of like a hybrid pop, hip-hop, uh, dance music kind of person. She's known for her her, her glitter bombing of everything, um, and also for the style that is very in your face and danceable. Um, it's going to be a show where there's going to be a lot of moms and their teenage daughters, and that's always kind of fun, especially when there's glitter falling from everywhere. Um, if you're into stage, the third thing you can do is go see Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. That's going to be performed by and at the Generic Theater in Norfolk this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday night at 8 p.m., and also 2.30 p.m on Sunday. Um, it's kind of a revisionist history, kind of rock opera kind of take on the, the uh, old pre ex-president who founded the Democratic Party and was known for uh, pushing Native Americans off their land. Um, fourth reason to get you out of the house is you can go see the Sweater Band. It's a Weezer tribute band. Yeah, I don't really know why. I mean, Weezer's not exactly the kind of group that has these rabid fans that want to go travel across the country to see them play. But we've got a Weezer tribute band. Regardless, it should be pretty fun. In some ways, it might be better than the real Weezer, which I don't think has been good since the 90s when uh, frontman Rivers Cuomo still had one leg shorter than the other. We've got a trio of decent films opening this weekend. One is another one's Oscar buzz. It's Blue Jasmine. It's the latest by Woody Allen. Um, our critic Mel Vincent saw it last night, and he's giving it four stars. He said it's phenomenal. He thinks it's got a lot of chances to win an Oscar for Best Picture and for uh, Best Actress with Kate Blanchett. Another big one is uh, The World's End. It's a British comedy with Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. They're the guys who starred in Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Um, this one has them as part of a collection of ex-college buddies who get together like 20 years later, and they try to complete a pub run around this small British city where they go like a mile and drink beer at every, every stop and you know, try to complete it without getting drunk. You know, if that wasn't cool enough, then somebody throws in robots attacking the city, so they got to do that while they're trying to drink their pints and blah, blah, blah. Could be fun. Um, for your horror movie fans, we've got You're Next. It's uh, the latest slasher film. I actually saw that last night, and it was pretty cool. It's like an update on the 80s slasher film genre where you're going to see a lot of people die in really comical ways. Um, and there's going to be some terror, but it's almost more laughable than anything else. All right, there you go. Hope that gives you something to do, gives you an excuse to get off your couch and go do something with the rest of humanity. Talk to you later.